Hi, in this video, you will learn how to edit bubble and area charts in our graph templates. First, let us take a look at the different types of bubble and area chart templates available in the pack. There are totally 10 of them. Let me show you each one of them and show you how exactly they operate and how we can edit the values. First, let us go to this first chart. As you know, a bubble chart shows the interrelationship between three different factors. In this case, as you can see here, this bubble chart shows interaction between price, volume and profit. Now let me right click, go to edit data to show you how exactly this chart is constructed. As you can see here, it shows the interrelationship between price, volume and profit. Now you can make the changes here and the change will be reflected here. Let us try and say that instead of the price being 1.5, I want to reduce the price to say 0.7. So I need to just make the change here. So instead of 1.5, I'm going to say 0.7. As soon as I do that, you can see that the bubble has moved from right to left to reflect the change in price. Now, if I want to show that the volume has increased as a result of price change, and now the volume is 2.5 instead of the current one, you can see that the increase in volume is shown here. Now, if you want to reflect that the profit percentage has come down because of the redu reduction in price, you can show that by change in profit value here. So instead of 12, if you want to say this as 10, you can see that the value is reflected here and the chart is now complete. So it is that easy to manipulate the different values in this bubble chart. Take a look at this template. It is exactly the same as the earlier one that we have just seen. The only change is here, profit is represented as percentage instead of as absolute values as we saw in the earlier template. Now take a look at this template. As you might have already seen that this bubble chart shows interrelationship between two variables instead of three variables. The reason why we did this is more for aesthetic reason than any other reason. Now we have used this bubble chart more like a column chart or a bar chart. Usually this kind of an effect is used by newspapers, magazines to represent the numbers in a very interesting way. And I'll show you how exactly the chart is constructed and you would be able to see that I have kept one of the variables constant, which is about positioning and I have only worked on two different variables. Now this makes this chart look a little bit of a fancier version of a bar or column chart. You can always make the changes here and the changes will reflect here. Now let us go to the next one. This is pretty much the same as the earlier one, only that the orientation is vertical rather than horizontal. Now this template shows performance with forecast trend line. Now let me show you what I mean by this. First, right click edit data and show you how exactly we have constructed this one. This bubble chart shows interrelationship between two variables, month and achievement. And what we have done is we have added a trend line. This trend line shows how exactly the achievement has been progressing. This is just a simple way to show forecast of performance. Now take a look at this template. As we had done in the earlier case, we have used bubble chart more as a replacement for column or bar chart just to give the slide a bit more of an interesting look and feel. We have only used two parameters to show here and let me show you how this chart is constructed. Let me go to edit data and you can see that this chart shows month wise performance and the size of these bubbles reflect the performance numbers. So that is how it is. You can always make the changes here in the yellow cells and you will see the reflection made here. This template is a fancier version of area chart. We have added labels here. The way we did this is by combining area chart with line chart with markers and we added data labels here to achieve this effect. Let us go to the next one. This shows stacked area chart in 2D and we have 100% stacked area chart in 2D. These are added more for the style rather than anything else. And this one is 100% stacked area chart in 3D format. So those are some of the variations that we have 
when it comes to the bubble and area charts. Hope you really like the kind of variations here. In the next video, I'll show you another set of templates and how to edit them. See you in the next video.